today we're going to talk about removing ceramic tile and thin set from concrete floors. This is part of the laundry room makeover that I've been working on recently. A couple weeks ago, I shared a video with you guys where I scraped and refinished the popcorn ceilings in this room. And after getting this tile removed, the next video will be showing you guys how I installed the new flooring. To get started removing the ceramic tile, you need a floor scraper. Since I already have the tiles removed in the kitchen, I don't have to break a tile to get started in this room because I can already get to the side of the tiles in the doorway. Once you have access to the side of the tile, you want to take your floor scraper and hold it at an angle, driving it pretty firmly into the underside of the tile where it's connected by the thin set to the concrete floor. You can see here that with enough force, the tile should pop up really easily. After you break loose that first row of tiles, you want to pick them up and start a stack somewhere that's out of your way. Then continue using your floor scraper to break the ceramic tiles loose from the concrete. If you run into a tile that won't break free after you've hit it from the side two or three times, just go ahead and break it from the top. Also, to make the job easier on yourself, just remove the trim before you even get started. When I first started working on this laundry room, I wasn't sure if I was going to redo the flooring or not. So once I made that decision, I had already painted the trim, but I ended up removing the trim halfway through and replacing it anyways. Here you can get a better view of the angle that you want to hit the tile at and how easily it should pop up. And you can see the thin set on the bottom of the tiles. You can also see a good amount of thin set that's still stuck to the concrete. We'll deal with that after we get these tiles removed. You can also see at this point how messy this project is. So another tip would be to hang plastic from your doorway or from the ceiling dividing the space that you're working in. Turn off your air conditioner or close off your vents. That'll help prevent the dust from kicking up throughout your entire house. When you are done removing the tiles, sweep your floor up really well, then you can get started on removing the thin set. For that, I'm using this DeWalt 20 volt SDS hammer drill. You want to make sure that you use an actual thin set removal bit for this job. With this tool, you can easily chisel away the thin set remaining on the concrete floor. If you haven't used one of these drills before, you might need to take a few practice passes to get a handle on it. It's all about keeping a consistent speed and continuously moving across the floor. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty smooth sailing. Work in rows, making sure not to leave gaps in between. You don't want to leave any ridges of thin set left behind on the concrete. You can usually tell by the feel of the chisel if you've gotten all of the thin set off of that pass that you've just made. Sometimes you might need to pass over the same spot twice. Once you've removed the thin set, the surface should look and feel smooth. As you're removing thin set, it's going to leave chunks of thin set and lots of dust everywhere. This makes it hard to see what you have left to remove. Sweep up your floor every now and then as you're working, making it easier to see what you're doing. You'll be continuously sweeping and chiseling away at the floor. Every time you think you've gotten it all, sweep and check again. There will be probably more to remove. When you get to a point where you think the area is cleared, take your hand and run it across the floor. You'll probably find a few spots that otherwise would have looked good. I spent a lot of time on the floor running my hand across it and finding another rough spot. If you're going to be leveling the floor after removing the ceramic tile and thin set, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. But if you're laying new flooring on that concrete like I am, it needs to be as close to perfect as possible. Oh, 
This is definitely the most time consuming part of the project. Even after you think you've gotten all the thin set removed, sweep the floor up again and then make sure to check every square inch of that floor looking for any rough spots you may have missed. When you're done removing the thin set, you want to make sure to get the floor cleaned very thoroughly before moving forward and prepping it for whatever your next step is going to be. It doesn't matter if you're leveling the floor or laying new flooring, either one of those processes requires a really, really clean surface before priming the surface to move forward. So you want to make sure that you sweep several times, getting the bulk of the dust up before you begin to mop. Then you want to take a mop and a bucket of clean water and thoroughly mop the floor. Concrete is one of those surfaces that never seems to truly come clean. So you'll be changing out the mop water and rinsing your mop out several times throughout this process. You want to get to where the mop is ringing as close to clear water as possible. At this point, you're probably ready to install your new flooring. Make sure to let your concrete dry out entirely before moving on to priming or whatever your next step is going to be. For me, the next step is installing peel and stick vinyl plank flooring in this laundry room. I'll be sharing that tutorial here with you next, and then after that, it'll be the full laundry room reveal. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of those videos coming up. Also comment down below and let me know if you have any other tips and tricks for removing ceramic tile and thin set. Thank you so much you guys for watching and I will talk to you next time.